So I'm really excited to share this video with you today because I'm bringing you something that has been in the works for over a year now. If you've been following our channel very much, you know that I like to take road trips. And in some cases, I actually sleep in the car. And just this last December, I took this car on over 3,000 miles and I slept in the car for four or five days. And I used this mattress. So much work has gone into getting this just right. And I really think that if you are planning on camping in your Tesla, this may be a really good fit for you. And I'll explain why. Now, when you're looking at mattresses for your Tesla, there are a few options and there are pros and cons to all these options. First is comfort. Foam is traditionally going to outdo an air mattress almost every single time. And the only downfall to that is to get enough foam to make it comfortable can take up a tremendous amount of space. So I have a six inch trifold mattress and it is super, super comfortable in this car, but it takes up the entire cargo space in the back of this Model Y. So you really start to lose out on a lot of your space. And if you're going camping and you're bringing passengers, it may become a challenge to fit everything in the car. And the alternative is an air mattress. And what's nice about an air mattress is it's very portable. It can come down to a very small size and it can fit in a lot of different places without sacrificing a whole bunch of your space that you have in the car. The problem is they're not comfortable. And then there are some in between. So there are some foam mattresses that are really thin, that are made to be portable, but the problem is they're not comfortable at all. I've tried a few of them, I'm not a big fan. This mattress on the other hand is a blend of both. So it's a self-inflating mattress. And what that means is when you open the valves, the foam inside, which is five inches thick, starts to return to its original shape. And in doing so, it's sucking air in and it makes it a hybrid mattress. Now, when you wanna get the air out, a one-way valve is available for you to let the air out. And there's four of them to help make that easier. But in addition, after a lot of testing, we decided to add an air pump just in case. And this air pump will mount up very nicely to those valves so you can suck all the air out because you want to get as much out as possible to make it as compact as possible when you're going to store it. This mattress was designed specifically for the Model Y, but it also fits in the Model 3, also fits in the Model X, and also fits in the Model S. So it's going to hit any Tesla that you might have. The nice thing about camping in a Tesla, you can run the HVAC and be comfortable, whether it's cold outside, whether it's hot outside, that's the beauty of it. And this mattress will be a great companion for you if you wanna sleep in comfort in your car without sacrificing a tremendous amount of your cargo space. So like I said, over a year went into getting this exactly how it is today. A lot of hard work with Jerry at ForMyTesla.com. We really worked to get this fine-tuned to be the right level of comfort, portability, and be able to fit nicely in this car. So before we go too far, let's go ahead and do a demo and show you what it looks like setting this thing up. So now just looking at it, you might say this thing's not full, but trust me, after doing this multiple times, just letting it inflate as much as it will on its own is a really good level of comfort, at least for me. So now here we are inside the car and there's a couple things to note, depending on your height will depend if you need to move these seats forward or not, but the mattress will just fit with the way the seats are sitting, at least for my height. Now I'm only 5'6", so a lot of you are much taller than me. So keep that in mind, you'll probably have to move these seats forward. And the best thing that you can do is set a new profile for camping that will automatically move these seats exactly where you want them when you go to get in camp mode. Now I'm laying back here and there is plenty of room in the back of this car for two adults if you so desire. And I have tons of room. Again, I'm only 5'6 though. So if you are six foot, you will fit back here. And once you start getting north of six foot, you might want to look and see just how well other tall people fit in the car to decide if this is going to be a good fit for you. But my wife and I can both fit in here and be comfortable. And I'll show you what it looks like back here with me in the car here in just a moment. But I've got camp mode turned on now, so it's starting to cool the car off, which is really nice. And during my 3000 mile trip, it came in clutch because it was hot some nights and it was super cold in the mountains in Colorado. 
So I had all that benefit and I slept very well and comfortable in the back of this car. Now what I have found in the number of trips that I've taken where I slept in the car is that you will burn about 1% per hour in heat, just under that, when you're using the heat around freezing. And the AC is going to use about 1.5% per hour to run the AC in the car. So I was expecting the heat was going to run a much less efficient cycle, but it turns out the air is actually going to consume more energy than the heat does. So something to keep in mind when you get to your destination, just to do some math, make sure you have enough charge to get to the next spot. So keep in mind right now, I've got the wide angle turned on, so something to consider. But just to give you an idea, I am on my half of the vehicle and plenty of room for another person. That is the halfway point and it comes all the way around and it is a very, very nice fit. It is made to convex in here through the body channel. So this is how your car is set up. And again, in the Model 3, it also fits really nice. Another nice thing, as you can probably see, if I change my, there we go. How much room do I have above this mattress? Well, quite a bit. So it does not push you so high up even though it is a five inch thick mattress. So there's still plenty of headroom and you're not claustrophobic back here. Now, one of the other things you're gonna wanna consider is how do you get some privacy? So if you're parking in a parking lot or somewhere where there's other people around and you wanna be discreet, I highly recommend these window covers that I have. There's a link in the description for them but they do a fantastic job of blocking out light and preventing other people from seeing inside the vehicle while you're there. So for safety, security, and to be discreet, it is nice to have those and they're super easy and quick to set up. That's what I use when I travel as well. Now here's another area where some of these mattresses can be a little bit tricky and it is getting all the air out and getting this nice and compact, but the added air pump makes it super easy. So I will show you now how we're gonna do that. And to show you this, the first thing we need to do is take a look at these valves. So there's four of them. There's two on the bottom and there's two up by where your head is at when you lay on them. These are a two-way valve. So the first setting where you can see the yellow, that will only let air out. So if you were to fold this in half and push air out, when you let go, it's gonna keep the air where it's at. So it's not gonna let air come rushing back in. So all that hard work of rolling this thing up, it's only gonna let it out. Now, when we open it all the way, you can see the foam inside of there a little bit, but that's what lets the air into the mattress. So that's a two-way valve and that's kind of how it works. Now for the quickest and easiest way to deflate this, we actually want to open this all the way, just one of them, keep all the others closed. And I'll show you what we do next. So here's the included air pump. It is wireless. It charges with a USB-C plug. And I have cycled this like 20 times and only used like half the battery. So there's plenty of charge in the built-in battery, but what's even more convenient, the size of these little inlet and outlet, that is the exact size of this valve. So if you wanna add air, you would just push it in forward and turn it on. And you can see it's filling up really quick. Now to bring air out, we're going to take that inlet and we're gonna plug that onto this valve. So as you can see, we are mounted up to that valve and we're just gonna turn it on. You can see it's starting to suck the air out already. So basically, you're gonna to wanna to go as much air as you can possibly get out. Just keep going, wait till this thing starts making a higher pitch noise and you stop seeing this thing change shape. You wanna get all the air out. That'll help you get it as compact as possible when you're trying to store this. All right, then very quickly close it up and you can open up as many of these valves as you want just to the exit position. So where the yellow is showing. And then we're gonna fold it in half, turn this thing around. And you're just gonna roll it up like any other mattress you've ever rolled up. Just get it as tight as possible, the tighter the better. And then once you get to the end, give it a nice tight hug and squeeze, get any extra air out and close the valves. You will experience this is one of the very few bags that a mattress comes in that it will actually fit in when you're done with it, which is nice.
And now just to show you how it goes into the sub trunk, this is a seven passenger, so keep that in mind. The size of the sub trunk is the same as the five passenger, but the lid is a little bit different. But just get that in there. Make sure your straps are good. Slide the cover back on. And you're good to go. So now it's nice and the sub trunk fits great. It fits in the sub trunk of the Model 3 as well. It does not, however, fit in the frunk of the Model 3, but it does in the Model Y. So let's go take a look at that now. So as you can see, we're here at the front and you're probably gonna have to give it just a little bit of a love tap because it does bulge a little bit and that's why it's important to get it as tight as possible when you're folding it up. There we go, nice and closed. Hood is not bulging and it is secure. All right, and now for the Model 3, let's go ahead and open it up. Thing holds a little bit better. There we go. We got it in there. And now the thing is, you're either going to need to get just slightly more air out or this thing does sit up just a smidge. But you put a couple items on top of it and it squishes down just fine. So it fits in the sub trunk of the Model 3. It does not fit in the frunk like it does in the Y. So something to keep in mind about that. So those are the details on this mattress. And like I said, for over a year, we've been working on getting this just right. And compared to the other options that are on the market right now, I really, really think that this is a strong contender for you to consider. It was a lot of work to get it just right. We went through a number of prototypes, a number of samples to get the one that we are selling right now. So be sure to go over to formytesla.com and you'll navigate through to whichever model you have and you'll be able to see that self-inflating mattress. There is a link in the description to make it a little bit easier for you. Code BTG SIM will save you 10 bucks off of this mattress. You can also add pillows and sheets if you so desire, but I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll give our mattress a try. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Bearded Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll catch you next time.